Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Steps Basic, and welcome to Let's Play... What the heck? We got a new gun out here and everything, eh? Look at that, look at that. Look at that. Anyway, uh, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil uh, 5. <laughs> so last we left off, we had um, <clears throat> a pain in the butt. We went playing with some bad guys and whatnot, and uh, now we're here. Oh, this one doesn't have a critical hit. Oh, no. It does, however, have a much higher capacity for damage output. All right. There we go. Let's get into this and go. We've been uh, doing puzzles and whatnot in this area, and I actually really like the puzzles. This is what Irving meant by answers. Yeah, probably. But obviously there's a connection. Yeah, probably. Nah. We'll worry about this later. Agreed. First, we need to find out about Jill. Uh-huh. Let's see what we can dig up. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> anyway, we had to solve a whole bunch of puzzles. We're in chapter five now. That's cool. Looks like water purifiers. Water is probably for the flowers. Yeah, you, you, you do. Yeah, we're probably doing research. Any flowers? Yeah, probably. Probably some Boy, way to. En Roger. Don't yell at her. She's right there. Probably some way to uh, enhance the plagas. You know how they be. You know how they do. Found you. You thought you could hide from me. I still have no idea how many of those I'm missing. Note. Clipboard with some old documents, old and new documents attached to it. Instruction supervisors. We finally kicked the Nyapa Nyapaya from the ruins they were squatting in. I have heard it was just to get to this flower field, but that's the least of my concerns right now. One thing I do know is that the construction here has been a colossal headache trying to build something with these ruins. Almost impossible to get with. It uh, meant the flower bed wasn't getting irrigated properly. Now the flowers are dying, and to drop it all off, the head researcher Brandon breathing down my neck. He says he wants the facilities at least three times bigger after the got approved fired the supervisor informed peter not sure why the if he, the flowers die the same thing will happen to me i can't believe the same thought poor Petey. uh huh mm -hmm. i hope we find a new water source soon our surveyors showed that there might be some groundwater 500 meters to show down it's pretty deep so we'll probably have to do is that new pump system they got going everything will go wrong uh the only problem is that i have no idea when i'll be getting those new pumps even the cash scenario even the best case scenario, well, you know, whatever. There's uh, no way to get those new pumps in here before the year out. It looks like we'll just donate. And, uh, the family's in dank, dark cave, playing gardener for some flowers. Ain't life a B word. Document following. This is newer. Administration log. The pumps are probably irrigating the proper... Good job, everybody. We read that so well. I left it up long enough for you to be able to read it if you want to, so don't be judgy. I think I might be dyslexic. <laughs> Chief Researcher Brandon. Log 1966. What the heck? They weren't using quill pens in 66, you know. Mr. Spencer once spoke of a flower called the Stairway to the Sun. Supposedly, this flower would give the bison who consumed it incredible abilities. Everyone thought it was nothing more than a rumor or legend that Mr. Spencer was telling us. But later, research would prove us wrong. The first bison to recognize the validity of that story was my teacher, Dr. James Marcus. He see, he hypothesized that the virus, hereto unknown, might exist that could alter DNA. That man was so perspicacious. That's so freaking ten dollar word I've ever saw one. Perspicacious. His hypothesis turned out to be correct. The virus discovered in that flower was labeled progenitor. For three months in Africa, we worked diligently, fretted over results, and staved off attacks from Ndiapa. I keep wanting to say Ndiapa, but yeah, Ndipaya. After such time, our efforts were finally rewarded. Even Dr. Marcus, who until yesterday looked exhausted, was in good spirits. He wants to return home as soon as possible to delve deeper into his research. I feel the same way. I want to learn the secrets of this progenitor virus as soon as possible. 1967. Ah, uh, we've hit a metaphorical brick wall. Uh, we brought the progenitor flower back from Africa and attempted to cultivate it here. The initial culture samples of the progenitor virus have not shown DNA-altering characteristics. We cultivated the flower as mass-produced the progenitor virus. At first, everything proceeded smoothly. The plants were strong and grew quickly. In a short amount of time, they flowered. 
But here is when the major problem surfaced. The flowers did not contain the progenitor virus. Perhaps the environment in which they are grown triggers the development of the virus. This matter must be investigated further. We've made no progress. We've uh, tried cultivating the flower under different conditions, but with no luck in triggering development of the virus itself. Thus far, we've tried changing the soil, water, temperature, and light exposure, all with no success. I got into a heated debate with Dr. Marcus about the direction of research has taken. During the debate, Mr. Spencer interjected some foolhardy notion of starting a company. Without a progenitor virus, there's no point in starting a company. Does he not see that? It's all pointless. Hmm. Thanks, Brackus. What was your name? Brandon? You want to get that door? No, I got it. It's fine. Open! Ready? Well, there is a lot of notes in this place. Oh, dear lord. I'm going to have to read a lot. Hi, I'm here to read. <sighs> Telegram from James Marcus. T-Virus development is success. January 13, 1978. Okay, cool. Power on. Umbrella. Reach us, Center Director Brandon's Journal. Okay, 98. We have closed down the research center. It's strange, but I don't really care. I'm indifferent into the whole thing. I feel the same way as when I heard that Arclay facility and Marcoon City were destroyed. When did I become so apathetic? I've spent many, every waking moment researching and extracting the progenitor virus. Everything I did was for Dr. Marcus. Actually, when I think about it, I probably stopped caring the day I heard that he died all those years ago. I did feel angry. I didn't feel angry or happy or even shocked. I felt nothing at all. It was as if uh, my emotions were just shut down. I just kept sending out samples of the progenitor virus of all to all of Umbrella's laboratories. I was just an automated machine reporting to Umbrella headquarters every time one of my subordinates made a breakthrough and discovered something new. I was like a zombie, ambling through life. No thoughts, no feelings. Head empty. No thoughts behind those eyes. And now the research center where I've spent half my life is closed. I really don't care one way or another. That's probably for the best. Perhaps it's too late for me to have any semblance of life again. Okay. Journal number two, 1968. It's been over a year since we had any breakthroughs. That's why Dr. Marcus and I decided to return to Africa. We can no longer continue our research without the progenitor virus. I know those routine attacks by Ndipaya are really going to rack my nerves. But for the sake of all of our research, I will persevere. In the face of unforeseen dismay, it was Spencer, Mr. Spencer, who provided the answer. If you're worried about the Ndipaya, then uh, we'll uh, just have to remove them from the equation. I can only imagine the look on sh of shock on our faces. The idea never occurred to us. It was quite a... A typical solution to our problem, but it seemed to be the, the only option available. Dr. Marcus and I decided to try Mr. Spencer's plan and commit genocide. Yes, always a good plan. Ah. Finally, some good news. We learned that we were able to chase the Indipaya off their land. The land we acquired only amounts to half of those underground ruins, but if it includes the area where the progenitor flower grows, then... There should be no issues. Mr. Spencer said his plans to construct our research facilities at the site, which will expedite our research into the virus. We hastily made our preparation to departure to depart for Africa, but Mr. Spencer requested that Dr. Marcus stay in Raccoon City to take over the training center, and that was Resident Evil Zero. Uh, we were initially taken back by this uh, request, but we soon realized that it was a logical course of action. Dr. Marcus needs a calm, a calm environment to properly conduct his research. If he were in Africa, there would be no proper facility for him to use at the time. I just hope the African research facilities get built soon. So now, I will go alone to Africa and send back uh, samples of the progenitor virus to Dr. Marcus. Both Dr. Marcus and Mr. Spencer agree that this is the best course of action. I have to start making preparations to go. I have a feeling I'll be pretty busy starting tomorrow. Uh, I've been in Africa for two weeks now. It's a good thing Dr. Marcus isn't here. This place is far from being a paradise of research and scientific study. These so-called research facilities are nothing more than a bunch of tents, and we have to employ armed soldiers to keep them to buy at bay. Hey, hey, funny how that works. You know, you kick people off their land. They kind of want to take it back. Idiots. But the thing that gets to my nerves the most is the sound of construction for the real research facilities. How am I supposed to concentrate on research when everything is threatening to drive me insane? I'm trying to just concentrate on extracting the virus samples from the progenitor flower so I can send them to Dr. Marcus. Hopefully, if I can focus on my work, I can remain sane in this godforsaken place. 1969. <sighs> 
<sighs> the research facilities are finally complete. This is the real umbrella research African areas, not just some pile of tents. But I've come to the realization in the past nine months the facilities are too small for our needs. We need to make a larger suitable to research. Then we can fill them with the talent of research. This place is it's a rare event. It's a skin pressure. Cool. Shut up. Ah! I don't want to read anymore. I saw that. You're not sneaky. Hello, invoice copy. Dr. Umbrella, Umbrella Training Facility, Dr. James Barkus, five cases of progenitor sample. Cool. I saw you. Here. You grab it. Roger. You grab it. What do we got? What do we even have? Uh. Boot to that. Hi, it's me. Christopher. Christopher Redfield. Wow, those flowers look how, neat. But they could be using them to produce biological weapons. You think so? This is the facility from the picture. Uh -huh. about it. Uh -huh. You think so? Uh, power on. Hi, Tricell. Wong. Oh my goodness. Miguel's journal number one. When I heard the, the laboratory used by the umbrella in, in, in Africa, my expectations were raised to say the least, but when I saw it, well, it's a lab in name only. I don't know how the umbrella ever used it, and Laird knows how tricells can probably use it. This place was abandoned long ago, so nothing of value. At least nothing expected this. Anyway, it's important things progenitor virus. If we didn't need that virus for our research, there would have been no need to come to this rundown umbrella facility anyway. We already have simple samples of the T virus, D virus, and T Veronica virus, and even Las Plagas parasite. We have everything we need for our research. We didn't just. We just didn't have the dang progenitor virus but we finally got our hands on it hopefully this will give us the research that we need and we'll start working on it i wonder what came up the name i wonder who came up with the name liquor for those creatures i mean when you see the oh for christ's sake not liquors ah but for the research purposes, because BOWs like liquors are just a pain in the butt. If I said liquors were too perfect, I'd probably be going too far in my praise. But they're pretty much an evolutionary dead end. There's no room for improvement. BOWs that were created with the T-Riders don't seem to show as much improvement as the pretender riders in administered. I mean, the ability to show the slight improvement. For example, their sense of smell seems far more or less improved. Uh, but that's all that we've got so far for the blind. As a, They're still blind as old lady, and they're ugly as poop. The biggest jump in their evolution seems to be their ability to reproduce. Oh no. I hate when things don't go according to plan, but since there's still a demand for liquors on the BOW market, okay, that's great. Uh, exactly what I would hope for. I think he's seen enough of these flowers. You think so? Can I break them? Thanks. I can break them. Screw you and your progenitor virus. Your progesperator. I'm going to break them all. These flowers again. Somehow I don't think these are for Mother's Day. You're hilarious, Chris. Oh, an email from to an acquaintance. Hey, I know this is sudden, but I'm going to be getting some time off soon. We've completed most of our work on that new project. Sorry, you know I can't talk about work. So they're giving us some time off as a result for a reward of all of our hard work. And the staff are leaving tomorrow and will finally be getting out of this country. I'm heading straight back to Arizona and I can't wait to get home and see everyone. I'm from Arizona. What a jike. Uh, more than that, I think I'll just be happy to get away from that high and mighty Miguel. Guy thinks he's some sort of super genius. Miguel's a guy that sits next to me at work, and he's a good researcher and all. Uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, he's got some good ideas, and is good at noticing details. But every time he opens his mouth, he just goes on and on about how great he is. You can't even begin to imagine what torture it is to hear that day in and day out. I wish we made a sedative I could give him. Uh, but forget all that. What matters is that... I should be back home within a few weeks, a few days. When I get back, I'll give you a call. We're going to go out and get smashed. I could use the break. Thank you. Bye, Ryan. Screw you, Ryan. He tries his best. Liquors. Oh, fun. Oh, my God. So much fun. Okay. Don't 
run on ahead. Geez, some bad things are happening here, eh? Stop it. Okay. Okay. I got it. Okay. Fun. Nice. We're good. We're great. We're Gucci. We're golden. <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Don't worry. Boy. <laughs> Did it. Ah! You thought I was going to open it smoothly, didn't you? Well, something bad happened here. Looks like torn apart by animals. Not a good way. What is a good way of getting torn apart by animals, Chris? What is a good way? Pull the lever. Fun. Careful. I saw something. You did you? Did you see something? Was it stupid looking? Because it definitely looks stupid looking to me. Ding ding. Dinner bell. Is that a rat? That is a big rat. Why is the rats, why are the rats just getting bigger? Jesus, wept, look at that thing. I am not gonna deal with those guys. Okay. Oh my God, he's, he's uglier than usual. Get out of here. He dropped a big old ruby. Okay, cool. We did it. Good job. Good job, everybody. Very proud. Aha! You grab it. Roger. Oh, really? Gosh, take it, take it. Here, I will take. Here, I'll take that. Give me an herb. Use this. Oh, Shaiva, I think you have a better gun. You now. grab it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. It tells us what weapons or uh, bullets it uses, so hopefully that'll be even better than what she's got right now. Unfortunately, I can't check that until later. So this is the monitoring room. All these monitors are offline, though. You could probably turn them back on. Thank God there weren't more of them. Yeah, we wouldn't last in a fight with a whole horde. What is wrong with you two? Have you never been in one of these games before? Oh my God, you guys are stupid. Can I close that up again? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to open that. Oh. I regret having pushed that button now. Let's go! Nothing bad will happen in here. I don't think they notice us. If we're quiet. I guess their senses are weak. And there's glass in the way. Then stop talking! See? See her? This is what I'm saying. You two. What idiots are you? Oh no. Oh no. Come on, let's do it. Damn it! They heard it! What? No way.
Call the elevator. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Come on! Come on! I owe you one. Yeah. Ugh. Let's go. Oh. Yep. Come on. Get in here. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> See, I thought I had one of these earlier, but I didn't. Okay. This looks fun. What's going on in here? I don't like the looks of uh, people in, in test tubes, it looks like. What is going on in this place, man? Ooh, coffee. I forgot. I had coffee. This was in the pictures, too. Wait. That means Jill might be here. Maybe. Uh-oh. Wasn't me. It was like that when I got here. Oh. Ew, zombies. Bye. So clumsy. They just dropped the guy. Didn't you see that? <clears throat> Try sell. Searching for Jill Valentine. <gasps> there she is. Jill. Hi. So Jill isn't the the thing that I thought it was. Okay. There's so many. Uh huh. You must be kidnapping people from all over the world to experiment on. Probably. I mean, better selection of different people. Here. Stopped. Access denied. You don't get to access Jill like that. Idiot. What makes you think you do that? Why? Because we can't access Jill like that. I just... Will, will you guys listen to me when I talk? That's why. Oh. What the heck is that thing? All things become crabs in the end. Epic dodged. I don't want to play with this guy. Uh-uh. Did I just completely miss with that grenade? Oh, hell yeah. Well, I don't know what you did, but good job. He's back up again. Ow. Why? Just give it to me. I was going to do that, but yeah. Cool. Now, uh, can I have this now? Yes, you can. For Christ's sake. Well, at least you use it if you're not going to give it to me. 
Yes, 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 I'm aware, I'm aware. Hi. Whoo wee. Well, that's unusual. That is a good way to get us more ammo, I guess. Come on, dude. Well, not too bad. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Come on. Uh. The fact that you're not letting me have that freaking thing is very upsetting me. Finally! Golly! That guy sucked! Jesus wept. Also, dang it, Shava, when I want the freaking grenade launcher, give me the freaking grenade launcher! Or at least use it yourself. Oh my god. Oh. It's gonna be empty. It's gonna be empty. Watch. Oh, never mind. There's something in there. Not exact. Oh, I guess that is empty. Just looks weird. Damn it! Where is she? She's running around with plague doctor mask on her. Hi. Nice to finally make your acquaintance. Thanks. Who the hell are you? She's the bad it's guy. Like Yoda. Excella. She works with Tricep. Nice. You've done your homework. An officer in the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium. Hmm. GPC. Why? Yeah. Why? As if I need to explain myself to you. You do. Although. I demand it. So it was you. Of course it was her. <laughs> Where is Jill? <laughs> Jill, even if I did know, you think I would tell you? Yes, because, because you're nice. Is. As soon as you two are done with your little conversation, <coughs> you should leave. Okay. There's nothing here with throwing your life away from Except for Jill, bruh. <gasps> As if to emphasize the she point. Knows something. Yeah, she does. We, we know that. We figured it out. It's time we get some answers. I agree. God, what was that boss fight, man? That one sucked. I didn't even talk it all there in it, did I? <laughs> Meh. But. <sighs> but anyway, I think that's where we're going to have to leave this one for today. Um, not quite out of time, but we're getting close to it. And I think we're getting close to the end of this. Because I know there's six chapters in this. I don't know how many sections are in each chapter. I probably check it but I know we're getting closer to the end of this thing, and uh, I'm excited. Uh, how many chapters? Well, that was completely unhelpful. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, we got three sections of five and then three sections of six. So yeah, we are getting pretty close to the end here. But like I said, that's going to be it for me for today. When we come back, we'll press on and find out more about what's going on with Jill. And uh, yeah, apart from all that. That's going to be it for me for today. Thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of Resident Evil uh, 5. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, you can poke that like button for me. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, you're more than welcome to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. When I can, if I can, you know all that jazz. And tune in next time for more fun. And until then... Good night.